Faced with lackluster sales figures and a falling stock price, the people at McDonald's decided they have to do something. The king of the fast food chains is asking its franchise owners to cut prices to as low as 55 cents for a Big Mac. It's an effort to boost sales, but will the restaurant owners go along? And what about those customers? NBC News correspondent Farlan Chang has our report. From this small hamburger stand in Los Angeles, McDonald's has become the largest restaurant chain in the world. It has also become an icon of American pop culture, a symbol of success based on the same tasty burger and fries served anywhere fast and friendly. It was innovative when it came out and initially set a mark. So everybody began to identify McDonald's with America. I mean, it became the symbol of efficiency, speed, uh, and quality. But lately, McDonald's has been getting fried. Its costliest sandwich ever, the Arch Deluxe, failed. And the other meal McDonald's started, the fast food breakfast, well, the competition is having it their way. Burger King has taken a bite out of the morning meal market. Also, many baby boomers are passing on the fast food and choosing healthier restaurants. Uh, it's very difficult for them to invite us to breakfast uh, when the kinds of breakfast people are eating are really balanced uh, with, with, with vitamin intake and combinations of, of, uh, of much healthier foods. Sales have slid to the point where, according to the Wall Street Journal, one internal McDonald's message says, competitors are growing faster and stealing share. So McDonald's wants to launch what it calls Campaign 55. 55 cents will get you a Big Mac or other sandwich with the purchase of fries and a drink. The company hopes this value meal will remind folks of the old days, 1955, the year McDonald's first started cooking. McDonald's is expected to pitch its Campaign 55 to franchise owners in a meeting tomorrow. If approved, McDonald's would seem to be returning to the past to regain its glory. But will the past be enough give customers what they want today. The consumers will decide. Farlin Chang, NBC News, Los Angeles. By the way, it's a face you'll be seeing more and more. With that report, we want to welcome Farlin Chang to the fine family of NBC News and MSNBC correspondents around the globe by way of welcoming Terry Keenan from CNBC, who's been sitting in for the past few days for Ron and Sana. Hello to you. Hello. Uh, what about...